okay well, the wild bitter gourd and uh, wild catfish crispy fried crisp uh, salad is ready let's try it okay before that let me uh, squeeze some lime juice mix let's give it a good mix yes. look at that wow the aroma wow really inviting this aroma oh. wow now let's try it okay wow mm. 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 So, you know, this is the wild berry, wow. which uh, my wife did a hunter gathering. She went and did some hunter gather. Uh, she gathered this in the wild. You know this uh, wild berry. You know? and then, uh, wow, burst in your mouth. So nice the taste, sweet tadienna. Oh, so nice. Mm, let me try this catfish. Mm. Mm. Catfish really crispy, right? Super crispy, very nice, tasty, yes. very tasty. Yeah. True, it's really very crispy the catfish. Oh, you should try this. Okay, I'll leave the recipe. In the description column, uh, try it out. Okay, it's damn tasty. Okay, uh, and uh, you know, today when we came, uh, we never expected it to rain, but it did rain, and halfway we had to stop. And then uh, we were stalled for a while, but uh, we waited for the rain to stop. It actually it was kind to us, and it stopped. And uh, finally, it stopped, and we cooked and. Here it is. It's so yummy. Wow. And look at the environment. It's so beautiful. You know, nature. Yeah. <laughs> you know. You should, do, you, should, you should do it once it's in a really while. It's really relaxing. Very peaceful here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you for being with us. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay. And uh, press the like button. And also, you take care. And have fun. Okay, see you again soon. Okay. Stay safe. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Take care. Come, let's go and see how we did it. This is Kuala Lumpur and it's 5.30 early in the morning. The city roads look so bare and empty with all the COVID-19 SOPs in force. I'm with my wife Sugu on a cup chai. A term coined out by Malaysian motto enthusiasts for underbones. We are now on Peninsula Malaysia's longest toll highway heading north from Kuala Lumpur. Actually, we had planned to do this trip on our tandem bike using the coastal road by the countrysides. Kuala Lumpur experiences two monsoon periods. From March to April and from October to November with the later being the worst of the two. During the monsoon season, the rain tends to switch from the mornings to the late afternoons. And it will rain for hours. 
sometimes to the extent of even weather forecasts going wrong. It is daybreak and it has been a long journey. A beautiful, cool and breezy morning. And the sun is nowhere to be seen yet. From toll highway to off-road. It, this is the advantage when uh, we use uh, uh, an, an underbone or cup chai for fishing. Uh, we can maneuver it easily in any type of terrain or condition. Uh, I like to use this uh, and take advantage of it. On our right are oil palm trees belonging to an oil palm plantation. Flowing along on our left is a small river. The water in the river seems to be murky, must be due to the heavy downpour last night. I intend to do some fishing in this river at the edge of this plantation. We have reached the edge of the plantation. It has been a long time since I came out to the wilderness to do some fishing. It's all due to my not so good health and also this ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. This time around, my wife Sugu agreed to follow me for this trip. She has always been my pillar of strength in whatever I choose to do. I just want to catch a fish, any fish, a snake head or a catfish or a barb, anything will do. I just want to have some fun and catch some fish and cook it. Enjoy this bountiful nature, the sounds, the smells, it's so invigorating. Wish me luck so that I can be back with the fish. Just one fish will make my day. Manakam. Good day everyone. Uh, uh, welcome to our channel. Uh, and I uh, hope everyone doing good. And uh, myself and uh, my husband Alan, we are here for a short picnic. So, uh, Alan has gone fishing, took his tackle. So while waiting for him, uh, I want to gather some uh, veggie to prepare for lunch. That plants look familiar to me. Oh, no wonder. It's a Cape gooseberry plant. This reminds me of my childhood days. They are full of flavors. Wow, there's plenty here. I can choose and pick. I want to move around to see if I can find anything else. I must surprise Alan. Aha, guess what? Oh my god, I'm so lucky. Find of the day. Wild organic bitter guts. I must say thank you to the birds for dropping the seeds here.
Did you know the red seed pulp of the ripe bitter gourd are juicy and sweet? How much more fresher can you get it? Oh, oh, so hot, but luckily it's breezy. It's not so humid, so I'm enjoying the weather. Okay, let us see what we packed last night. Uh, the things here. This is the measuring cup to measure the rice. Okay, some rice, some flour to fry the veggie. Okay. Some uh, salt and jaggery. This is the instant uh, coconut powder and uh, rice flour for frying too. Get some uh, tomato ketchup and some uh, bico uh, bicarbonate soda. Okay, uh, inside here, have some uh, coriander leaves and uh, so wilted a bit due to the hot weather. Okay. One tomato, one green chili, one red chili, one lime, uh, two small onions, and a garlic. This is the wild Cape gooseberry, which I gathered earlier. I hope Ellen catches a nice fish. These berries will taste nice mixed in a fish salad. Wash and pat them dry with a kitchen towel. My find of the day. Cute looking mini bitter guts. Awesome find. Let's give them a thorough wash. Pat them dry and slice thinly. So that when we fry them, they will be crispy and crunchy when we bite them. I'm so happy to have stumbled upon all this in the wilderness. Very nice. At the fishing spot, I bumped into my ex-colleague, K.P. Nathan. We had a good time chatting, revisiting our good old working days. Good angler and a lucky fella. The fish took my bait. Oh. 
All right. Chante ya, chante ya. This is a catfish. Okay. Uh, locally we call it chankali. Okay. One will do. Today we'll do something and cook and eat. I'm also hungry already. All right. Let's go and do it. I shall cook the rice first before preparing the other ingredients. I'm measuring two cups of rice. It comes to around 200 grams. I am actually using a small rice cooker cup. Rinse the rice. Wash it thoroughly. Remove the starchy water. Keep the clean rice aside. For 2 cups of rice, we shall boil 3 cups of water. When the water starts to boil, we shall throw in the cleaned rice. Put the stove on medium heat. And then I've already cleaned and cut the fish. Okay, this is the fish we caught just now. And I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of uh, salt now. Okay, uh, one teaspoon uh, all purpose flour. Uh, one teaspoon uh, rice flour. Pinch of uh, bicarbonate soda. Now let's mix and coat the fish nicely, okay? The rice is uh, cooked and ready now. I prepared the veggie and all now, okay? All the veggie here. Ay yo, it started to rain. Hi. <laughs> okay. It's uh, raining It's so rain. unfortunate. Huh? Uh, this is the reason we didn't want to do this, uh, you know, tandem bike tours. Uh, you see, now is the actually uh, the what do you call the uh, monsoon uh, monsoon season. So uh, rain comes without giving you a warning. Okay. So now we have whatever cooking we were doing has been uh, abruptly stopped. Okay, look at what's happening. Oh. <laughs> the rain. Okay, see, look at the fish. The fish is already prepared. Uh, the vegetables are ready. Uh, the rice is uh, already cooked. We decided to wait and see if the rain would stop. Sugu decided to resume cooking when finally the rain stopped with a light drizzle. It took about more than an hour for the rain to stop and but it's still drizzling lightly uh, we will continue cooking so we will resume cooking now I shall hold an umbrella over the stove to help in the process we need to fry the fish and the bitter gourd let us pour enough cooking oil into a frying pan so that we can deep fry the thin slices of catfish which Sugu has already marinated earlier. We shall uh, put the stove on medium high and wait for the oil to be heated. When the oil is uh, heated up uh, to the right temperature, uh, we shall throw in the slices of catfish into the uh, hot oil. Uh, make sure the Thin slices of uh, catfish are uh, coated nicely with the flour and all the other condiments. While the pieces of fish are getting cooked and
fried to perfection we shall throw in the thin slices of uh, bitter gourd into the remaining flour mixture notice we are keeping all the ingredients inside the plastic bag so that they won't get drenched by the rain drizzling little by little let us mix and coat the bitter gourd pieces nicely with the uh, leftover flour mixture Once the fish pieces are cooked and fried to perfection, we can remove them from the hot oil and uh, put them aside. Uh, we can also use a kitchen towel to ensure that any remaining oil is absorbed by the kitchen towel from the fish pieces. In the remaining oil, we shall now fry the thin slices of a uh, mini bitter gourd which uh, Sugu has already marinated earlier. We shall remove the fried bitter gourd slices slightly over fried. This way, it will help to lessen the bitterness. Keep it aside. Prepare the coconut cream. Follow the instructions found on the packet. Here, Sugu is using 4 teaspoons heaped coconut cream powder with half a cup of water. Mix and stir well so that there are no lumps and the mixture becomes creamy. Come, let's put together our salad dish. Put 1 teaspoon tomato ketchup into a mixing bowl. 1 teaspoon jaggery or brown sugar. Quarter teaspoon salt. Mix these ingredients evenly. Add in one clove finely chopped garlic. One tablespoon chopped coriander stems. Thin slices of half medium sized red onion, like so. Leaves from one coriander stalk and half a tomato diced. Add in the fried mini bitter gourd slices. Add in the fried channel catfish slices. Mix well so that all these ingredients get coated nicely with the sauce we created earlier. Top up with the organic cape gooseberries. Now let us drizzle some of that coconut cream. Mix and blend everything together. Wow, it's so aromatic. If you are here, you'll be mesmerized. Add a bit of all the garnishings we prepared. Coriander leaves. A bit of diced tomatoes. A 
a few slices of thinly sliced medium sized red onion chopped green chilies chopped red chili pieces as much as you like or a few <laughs> looks so yummy and inviting I can't wait anymore I'm going to taste it okay till we meet again bye bye take care and stay safe enjoy yourselves and please do give us some feedback so that we can improve ourselves further